we want you to get involved, we want you to get in there, give it a go, find out what you're good at, and you may surprise yourself and actually go, oh my god, I'm like way up here in some of this stuff. And it can be used in that way as well. It's not just a, oh, what, what are you not good at? You're going to really go, oh, actually, I didn't think I was that good in this, okay? So don't get too disturbed about that. Um, there are going to be some movements in there that you guys probably haven't done a great deal of, okay, or maybe at all. Um, some of the farmers, hand, uh, farmers carry stuff starts to get heavier as we go through. We've all done farmers carries, that's fine, um, but as we've done relatively lighter stuff for more endurance work, whereas this sort of starts to kick in a little bit more of your heavy work and moving shorter distances, okay? So it's not so much about that endurance of the hands as such as it's more starting to talk about core stability and, and things like that. So that goes into those type of things. Um, what's the good God? Do we record it? Do we record ourselves or are you recording? Let me fix that and then because I'll go into that. Um, so First, we're going to do uh, testing sessions next week. Okay, if you can get along to it, I highly recommend you come along to it. Um, it'll be good because you'll have lots of people doing the same stuff. You can talk to each other about it, get involved, rah rah. rah. If you can't come along to that, that's also fine. Um, I would like to try and if we can get a bulk of you guys to do it in one big group, that's awesome. Um, we can sort of tick off little bits and pieces, but at first, you really want to come to a session where it's dedicated to it. Once you start, and we get a card happening for you, so we've got cards made up so you can mark off where we can mark you off as you go. So once we get the card set up and we have a rough idea of where you're at, a lot of these movements are in our everyday classes, okay? So all of a sudden, if your back squat hits the next level, we can write that off, okay? And that just accumulates over time and then all of a sudden once you've ticked all the boxes, you move to the next one, okay? Um, it'll give you a little bit of a focus too on some of the stuff that we can swap around. I know with you guys, with some of you, with your rehab stuff and everything that we've been going through, um, swapping out some of the in-between stuff, um, you can manipulate some of that stuff. Some of it I like keep it exactly the same as what it is. Um, but if you've got a major sticking point here, we can work on a weakness in that time in the class, okay? So you can go, and you'll start to learn what your, your weakness is and you'll learn what you can do to fix that weakness. So not only will you be able to do that in a class and have us, you know, correcting and making sure you're doing it all right, but then you learn how to do that movement so you can take it away from here and you can do it out of here as well and progress faster because the faster you progress in a weaker, whatever you want to call it, movement, the faster you're going to move up in it all and the better life's going to be. It's going to be easier for you. Okay? Um, so basically, next weekend, a major test and then we can slowly tick off in time. Um, don't really, if you miss the testing thing we'll we'll try and get to you. Um, try not to at least at first there's a lot of things to be ticked off and stuff. Don't bombard your coaches with here sign this off, here sign this off. If you come into a class and you've got like four things to sign off, remember that we are going to be dealing with a mass of you at first. We will do our best to try and sign you off. So um, especially me guys if you send me a message or whatever, and I can do that. But as far as like in the class goes, or even send an email, but in the class, yeah, we're gonna have to witness it, but don't sort of come up and go, oh, by the way, here's my card. Can I have this, this, and this, and this marked off? Does that make sense? Just, we don't wanna take away the time coaching you guys just to do this, all right? Sweet. That was my- When is testing? Saturday, next Saturday, okay? 
Um, so it's going to be run at the same time as this info session now. Um, and we'll go through that. It, I'm going to say uh, around about an hour, give or take, depends how much chatting we do and all the rest of the yes. <laughs> Depends if Sue comes along or not. With what you guys have read, and I'm just assuming that you've all read it, um, and had a bit of a scan through the, the pathway and the milestones and everything like that, have you got any questions? Because I'm going to say, if you've got the question, whether whoever it is, there's probably another four or five of you in this room with the same question. So I'm going to just put it out for questions, and we can get some boxes. So I actually have a real excited to have my eyes on. Of it, okay. Um, like I said, this the stuff that 
I've got goes a lot further this way. The guys that I got a lot of this concept from were teaching elite athletes, um, like the NRL guys and stuff like that. Um, their stuff is just what. Um, so I incorporated the same structure and I've brought it back down so that we can incorporate everyday people rather than elite athletes. Yeah. Uh -huh. So this, this is really based off, I um, did a mentorship with a coach that um, was the strength and conditioning coach for the Brewsters and stuff. Um, so this is a manipulated version of his testing system, to be honest. Anyone else? Are you going to have any more testing days? Like, are you going to have yes? Yeah, yeah, we will. We, we, we won't just yeah, we won't just do one and then forget about it. Yeah. Um, of what we won't say when we're going to do yeah. the next one just now. Um, we have been pretty busy with a lot of stuff going on at the moment. Um, so we get the first initial one out of the way, um, and then we can sort of do a roll on from there. And yes, I'd, I'd like to do a few testing days in the future sort of thing. Um, the testing days, once again, are sort of probably going to be more for this, the lower, lower end stuff, because once you sort of start to get up further, it then does very much become exactly what we do, because it's very much like a back squat at, you know, 70% of your body weight, whatever it may be. Um, so that stuff is very easy to tick off in a class type of thing. Um, you know, a height, you can walk up to me at any given point and say, hey mate, I can get my hands flat on the floor now. Yep, cool. You know, so um, we will do them every now and then, but I don't think they're going to be something that's needed a lot. Oh, so um, it would be good to get together every now and then and have the session because then we can once again get all together, you can talk about it and you know, okay, oh, you, I'll see you mate for that one. What did you do to get past that? But yeah. yes, we're coaches and you know we're gonna guide you along the way, but I know like what you guys as peers have got a lot of information between you as well. And if you start talking to each other and say, Oh yeah, yeah, I did this to to get to where I am, all of a sudden it's like, okay, you know, so it's starting that conversation. Yeah. Anything else? I like it. Yeah, that sounds good. So, and like if there is an injury, obviously you're going to regress back and build back up. Yeah, and oh, that's actually, sorry, that's like something that we haven't had. Uh, oh, if you have a permanent injury, the, you just aren't going to yeah. be able to do something ever. Um, look, we're not going to go, oh, well, you're going to be stuck there. That your coaches are going to be able to manipulate it a little bit to suit you. I don't want to shut somebody down just because they, if they've got really bad knees and there's no way in the world they're running 1.6 k's. Yeah. Well, that's that's not your you as a person. Like if you're sitting here telling me I'm not running 1.6 k's, yeah. but you're a perfectly healthy human being. <laughs> no, 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 no. That, that's, that's, that's an option. But if, if you have a genuine reason not to do something, no, that, that's one won't hold you back. Yeah, so don't stress too much about yep. if you've got an issue. Yep. Um, if you've got an issue that is, I can't do that because my mobility is not good enough, yes. then that's a mobility yes. issue, not uh, whatever yep. you that. So exactly. yeah. we're going to try as hard as we can to get these all signed off on everything, yeah. but there is going to be stuff that it's just not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. So the cards are piece of paper. That yeah. We bring every so we're going to up in the. Does it? Something that you prepared earlier, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. You, I mean, you're more than welcome to progress through and see where you're at with everything else, but in reality, this is the one you want to focus yeah. on, wherever, wherever that may be, wherever that sticking point is. So when we do the testing, mm -hmm. are we going to test milestone one, mm -hmm. test milestone two, and if you fall over there, then that's, you know, test like your back squats really into milestone four? Well, that's sort of what I'm saying. You can, you can test further if you want, um, especially if we've got time on that day. You can test further if you've got a sticking point in milestone two. Yeah. You can test beyond and the other stuff just to find out where you're at. Milestone two is going to be where you're at. Yeah. Um, and I'll probably encourage you guys, and you're going to get a bit of a feel for it, like probably relating to you can look at this and you can look at your Waterfy stuff and you can get a really good feel of where you, you sit on this straight away. Um, you know in your head where you're at with your mobility, where you're at with your squat, where you're at with your deadlift, all those movements. We, we all have a pretty good idea of where we're at with them and you've all got Waterfy access on your apps and you can have a look. So as far as going beyond where you're at, I'd sort of suggest more along the lines of that. It's more that your sticking point is going to be where, where we're really going to need to sign off. Were those results beyond the one player? No, no, this is us. So these are going to be kept. In, in here, so they'll be in class. Um, so they will be accessible to us during class. So, like I said, when it first kicks off, it's going to be like a big flood of everybody trying to do everything. Okay, so once it settles down a little bit, it, the, the cards will be here, they'll be accessible. And, you know, we have backs one day, Lisa comes up to me and says, Hey, Brendan, I've just picked off this. Yes, sweet Lisa, no dramas. Um, or, Whatever, and all he walks in and he does like I said before, and all of a sudden I like, get my palm flat or sweet, you know, whatever it is, and we can sign that off. Makes sense? Yep. Cool. So I'm just asking, I know you can kind of bring it into this. If for some unforeseen reason we weren't able to attend um, Saturday for that initial testing, yes. would you run that again? And I'm asking for selfish reasons. Yeah, yeah. Look, we, we will run it again, and um, I'm trying to get as many people here next Saturday as possible. If you're going away for the weekend or whatever, or you've got something on, you just can't come, that's sweet. Um, I'll try and help out as many people as I can with it, but just understand, if you ask me to, like, oh, I can't make it, can you help me fill out my card? Just understand that I've probably got another 30 people asking the exact same question. And I'll get to you as I can. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, cool. Is the table itself going to be on the wall like that, or will we have a? Like, yeah, we'll, we'll get, get a we'll get a bigger version of it. Yeah. Up, 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 up in here, yes, I'm going to get it. Yeah, separate them out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll get a big needles and glasses version.
says how many words have been said. All right, awesome. Thank well, thanks you. a lot for coming along, guys. Um, you're probably going to have questions in the future. We're all here. Half an hour, send me a message, send me an email. See us in class. We don't mind. Cool? Cool. Excellent. That'll be exciting. Now hang around and do that skipping workshop.